everyone, I'm Hugo. And we have a prop! Today we're doing something we've never done before, and that is... We're gonna be doing Christian movie quickies, I think is what we're gonna be calling this little series. And we get sent so many different movies and kid shows and stuff, we just don't have the time to do reviews for all of them. So what we're gonna be doing is very original idea here. No one's ever done this before. No. We're gonna be using a wheel. This won't be our permanent reel wheel. The um, uh, Memorial Richard M. Evans wheel is in the mail. It Wouldn't is it be the, the Richard M. Evans Memorial wheel? Sure, whatever. Not whatever, it's very important that we memorialize him. So, I guess without further ado, we're gonna turn this thing on and one of us will stop it, and whichever one is at the top, or closest to the top when it stops, that's one of the ones we'll do. And Which we're one's doing... closest to the top now? That one? Left? Yeah. Well, you can't turn it if it turns... Okay. I'm probably fucking up this record, too. No respect for my own property. Anyway, go ahead. You wanted to give it the first... The I, first... I'd have to reach around. Okay. I'd have to reach it around. Just tell me when to stop. Some of the things are getting fucked up. You gotta pick. Go! So the first ever that we pick is... Live Action Bible Man! No! Oh no. Ryan's doing his goddamn best. Okay. Get off Ryan's back! I'm not on Ryan's back. I just... Alright, Oh no! Six solids. What? He did nothing to I'm instigate that I'm chase. Confused. He just went. A normal Ooh. person, not Willie Ames, would be like, "All right," and then walk in the opposite direction. In Romans twelve twenty one, oh, you tell us to defeat evil with good. Give me power and give me strength, O oh God, that I might defeat this evil. Oh, does he? He just he prays to turn into Bible Man in the early episodes. Oh, and then Bible Man writing group was like, you know, it makes a lot more sense if it's not a miracle every time you suit up. Yeah. You just have it like a like a you put high tech on, like if you put on a costume like a superhero. <laughs> Wait, why are they in the gym now? Okay. Selection number two. <laughs> Yay! It's fine. If we stop it here, what happens? We gotta respin. Well, okay. Or whichever side it's closest to. Alright. Okay, only, oh. the, only the good die. Okay. That's that song. Let's see what? What do we got? Please say something good. Veggie Tales, Dave and the Giant Pickle. Our first ever Veggie Tales. So you get what you want, people. Hooray. Squash can make you smile. If is this you the theme like song? To waltz with oh. potatoes, You've never seen an episode of Veggie Tales. Uh, I wasn't abused as a child. <laughs> okay, what do I do? Well, it's just that I'm afraid it's about to let go. Ouch. Wow. Was I didn't know being a superhero could be so painful. <laughs> That's now. a decent the joke. The Philistines were people who hated Israel. They wanted to take Israel's land and make the Israelites their slaves. So I know! Okay. I know! I have a few uh, problems with that. <laughs> so I didn't say Veggie Tales is historically so accurate. Please. It's fucking vegetables <laughs> talking. It's what fine. The, the Philistines. Ah, they want to rape our folks. Okay, we're just going to go. <laughs> Got it. Uh, ooh. ooh, that's a that's a that's a that's a coin flip. That's a coin flip. Left. Uh, ooh, ooh, this one's a little bit taller, I think. Okay. Last but not least, the crossing. Oh fuck! What is the crossing? Is it a movie? Oh, that it was that. It's on the floor now. Okay. 
That what is this? Is, that, this can is, this be? Is this going to be worse than those other two? This is an early Cristiano film. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. That's a, a lovely color on you. Sorry, visiting hours are over. Yeah, Bernice is really? not putting up with that shit. Oh my god, David A.R. White has cancer in this. Normally he's the one who gives us cancer. I was gonna say, he deserved it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh you can't drink the water right. That's love. Jason, you'll have to <laughs> Get this man <laughs> some medical it, marijuana. Hold on, hold on, is that how David A.R. White coughs? <laughs> 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 Be back here what a tongue! Me. I don't even know what what this was about. Okay, what was this about? So the first the first thing we watched this is a piggy bank. Yeah, I knew that. What? The first thing we watched was Bible Man silencing the Gossip Queen. This is at the very least one of the first two Bible Man episodes ever made. Miles Peterson, a man who had it all: wealth, status, success. Still, something was lacking. Ah! Oh, it's terrible. It's bad news. It's fantastic. Oh no. Is that a bong hit? Oh no, that was a that was a microscope. That's very easy. one of the behind the scenes footage accidentally got into the intro. Oh. It's got Willie okay. Ames. Okay, it's fantastic in that it's bad. It starts out. What was the opening scene? I don't even remember the exact he, uh, opening. Yeah, was he was in a gym. He was he was in the school and then he he teaches the kids because they allow him. And one, yeah. He's a teacher now? Yeah, in uh, the early Bible Man, they were kind of doing a, oh, what's his secret identity? Oh, he, he spends time at a school despite and then, his other, his secret identity being a rich guy who owns a manor. He also teaches school. On chapter seven and eight. Also, all the high school kids are as tall or taller than him. You know, uh, he's a short guy. He's shorter than you. That's impressive. Sorry. He owns the town, so I mean, he can just do what he wants. Sometimes he goes to the grocery store and he bags groceries. Sometimes he's at the traffic stop directing traffic. Today he was teaching a science. Okay, today. No one knows what. And then the kids leave, and then a guy comes around the corner and goes, a booga booga, and then runs away, and Willie Ames, because he's a normal adult, chases the, the crazy person. It was nice of this school to be like, all right, Williams, you can dress up with your friends for an hour. I appreciate, again, though, in this first episode, they didn't have really the effects for the lightsabers ready. They went with it anyway. They pla there's plastic tubes. And you gotta commend that kind of that kind of dedication to the craft. Just say. Why did he chase Into a the gym. person? He gave him no reason. If someone jumped out from behind a tree and went ooga booga, you don't go that way. You don't go the direction. Especially if it looks like they have leprosy. I don't chase the guy with the skin condition down. No, not worth the time. But you do murder them with lightsabers if you have the chance. So maybe that was what he was thinking. Shot. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's dead. He's disappeared. Maybe. So what happens is they get into the gym. They get into a stupid fight. Uh, with lightsabers, though not with the effects that later Bible Man episodes have. Yeah. He's just First John five four. Mario with bad skin. I don't really understand any of it. I, like the point was don't gossip, but really they. It was just because I'm pretty sure the Hispanic child was a little autistic. These guys just have a little clay on their hey, face. Hey, did you hear yeah. what Callie said about Nikki? I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Look at Callie over there acting like their friend. That Callie's pretty sneaky. Oh, I like the idea that, I don't know if these guys are demons, but I like the idea that there's a cabal of adults engaging in middle school to high school teenage drama and like instigating like oh did you yeah. hear Becky likes Davy? Because he couldn't he couldn't understand he couldn't just walk up to his friend and be like, hey, we got a problem or <laughs> like, Let me explain what happens. Like like kid, kid Meanwhile, <laughs> to the Bible man stuff, the kids he was teaching in class, back at the church, 
they're doing a uh, uh, some sort of musical number they're practicing for. I don't want to deal with any of this. Yeah, this is when it was still under the impression that it was like a musical. And the hench people of the main lady show up and start talking shit about the fucking kid. And then he overhears it. He's like, ah, fuck you, Becky. Yeah, I don't understand. Hey, Ricky, could you help Nikki over here? Over here? Oh, yeah, I can over here. And with a friend like you, Nikki's gonna need all the help she can get. Bible Man then gets kidnapped. Again, for basically no reason. No, you get, you get, there's a catch and release program for Bible Men. I feel... I feel rotten. <laughs> well, soon you'll feel horrible. And then you'll wish you felt rotten. Soon I'll be rid of your vile beams of bitterness, and you're the one Stand who- Stand up, you boring. lazy cunt! Oh, like, with demons. So they let him go. He's gone now. And then he goes back to his his hideout. Where he talks to no one. Well, not well, he no talks one. to God. God to... Oh, man. Does my head hurt? As a matter of fact, my whole body hurts, Lord. Still. They needed to give him someone to talk to, because he so couldn't cool. handle the monologues. Yep. That's why, why Coke shows up later. Know? And Eunice. Yeah. And what did she mean, Lord, when she said that I Because I assumed he was going to talk to the robot. Turns brain. out, when you have a superhero who only talks to God, he well, sounds a little crazy when he's just talking to himself all the time. Why is he always wearing Christmas it sweaters? Yet. He Sir, talks to God. I God's see why, real. why they the added... Man. I see why they added the friends and the AI later, because when he's alone... He sounds like a I crazy I expected person. Eunice to show up the whole time. If you're a veteran of this channel, uh, you, you know that the, the computer talks back. So he starts talking, and I'm waiting for, Oh, Bible man, you're so good. You, you, you just don't know. You did the thing. You did a good job. But, ah, joke about a computer. And then I thought we were going to go the next. No, none of that. Instead, it's just Bible man... In his mansion using palace. A, using a goddamn drill press for no reason. What the fuck? I'm doing Bible things with a drill press. Willie Ames, that's just woodworking. Anyway. That's just, he's just making a, making a birdhouse. Sure. He doesn't really have an arc in this episode. Generally, at least the later ones have him, like, overcoming a, a biblical thing with a biblical message. This time he, he was just like. He nothing. He was untouchable. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Okay, murder number two. He was just like, next time I'm not gonna let him Corner. sneak up on me. Okay. They were in an open gym. Where will your victory come from, demon? She <laughs> also, it was very nice of the demon group to accept Bible man's terms and also bring lightsabers instead of just guns <laughs> how do you not hear that he you know what it was those things cover his ears that makes sense these things cover his ears so he, he didn't have his, his peripheral senses that he needed so uh I, I guess we should do we rate these is that how this works are we rating them we're going on a rating well, he didn't system even get to the murder he murders both of the people he murders them oh that was inconsequential and okay. then it's over because the kids are like, yeah, we won't gossip anymore. And they do a wonderful dance number with Ryan. Just okay. so someone off to the side playing the coronet. That's a Casio. <laughs> Just a Casio <laughs> keyboard, friend. Dude, Ryan is fucking... Dude, I'm telling you, that? if this dude isn't at least on Off-Broadway somewhere, I'm going to be so disappointed. He deserves it. He's got that. I started out anti-Ryan, and now I'm on the I'm on the bus. He's got the bug. He's got it bad. Yeah. Oh, look at look at Ryan. Dude, he's got this. Yeah. See, the camera started out wide shots for everybody, and it's starting. It's, they're starting to favor Ryan. You see it? Yeah. Halfway through this production, they're like Ryan. Let me tell you. You know what's a bold move? You have a few gray kids. khakis. I respect it. <laughs> what the fuck? They know about Ryan. Anyway. So, this one, I don't know. How many Willie Ames out of t uh, five? Out of five, this gets... And which type of Willie Ames, so it depends on which type of Willie Ames. I'm going to go with, out of, just because Bible Man episodes are get their own ranking. Okay. Okay? I'm going to go with two and a quarter 
Carnival Cruise Line Willie Ames Entertainers okay. out of five. I was going to say three Tiger Beat Fresh Faced Willie Ameses out of five. Because three? I, I get the feeling this is him saying, man. you know, I'm going to clean up my life. I'm going to, things are going to be good. I'm going to start this kid show Bible Man. This is one of the first so you episodes. you gave him an extra point for optimism toward his future. Yes. It Ooh. all comes crumbling down soon after this. Yeah, I can't, I can't stand by that. But I appreciate the effort, Willie. Enjoy your cruise. What's next? Whatever a helpless vegetable called out, I will answer. How do they do you things with that arm? The Philistines did seem a little on the small side, so King Saul agreed. That seems like a reasonable idea. Oh, oh yeah, I King Saul. Uh, famous Set in the Bible for being champion. very reasonable and, and smart. Uh, Ow, that's smart. Hey, look. I'm a leg go round. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a letter this from is the Maya worst shit Edgerton I've ever seen. Young... So I hate Veggie Tales. Why do you hate Veggie Tales? It's They've stupid. Done to you. It's awful. Okay. It's the it's real bad. So we watched an episode of Veggie Tales. This uh, is not good. Dave and the Giant Pickle. I have a lot of nostalgia for Veggie Tales because I grew up on it. I have none, so I'm objective. It's bad. <laughs> you liked this. I still like this on a nostalgic level. I think it's funny still. Aha! Uh -huh, there he is. Uh, no, not the sheep. He's behind the sheep. Uh, shoo there, Fluffy. Hi, I'm Dave. I have a lot of brothers. Is he a broccoli? Yeah. It's not funny! There are funny bits. I'm not saying it's funny from beginning to end, but anyway... There it, are funny bits the same way that there's funny bits in the good Bible Man episodes. It doesn't make Bible Man good. We'll be back with more Dave and the Giant Pickle after this break. <laughs> and now it's time. <laughs> Is that guy's voice just like short bus? Okay, I think Veggie Tales is less mm, shitty than Bible Man. Anyway, so opens with the Veggie Tales theme song. You weren't impressed. No, no, I was not. I remain so. <sighs> Cuts to, of course, as every VeggieTales starts with uh, them in the kitchen, sort of with uh, Larry Boy doing Larry Boy stuff. We never establish if the kitchen is human-sized or just vegetables would make it larger than they need. The Bible says that the Israelites were God's uh, chosen people. God led them through the desert. He helped them walk across <coughs> the Red Sea. And whenever they went into battle, God was there with them. They and then World War II. It's implied that there is a human owner to the house. You never see him. It like never Toy happens. Story? Kind Why of. don't they ever interact with the person? Not the point. I think it should be the point. No one could stand against them. Wow. But King Saul Except the Blitzkrieg. So you want an episode? Wouldn't it be fun if if it's like... Seth Rogen made that. It was called Food Fight, I think. Or not Food Fight. Was there fight. people in Food Fight or not Food, food fight, Porn or whatever the fuck Sausage that. Party? Sausage Party. Yeah, there were people in Sausage Party. They ate the shit out of the, the oh, food. Oh, that's right. I've never seen it. Eh. Yeah, I'm good. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't... Like, like... And then they put on these Jesus plays because he's a pastor. Anyway. So, it was the story of, uh... David and Goliath, but David kinda was a was cute it up for kids. He was an asparagus for in the desert. Well, Dave wasn't exactly it's camel sure fur. what he was getting they into, would, but he knew God would be there with him. So he went down they to they could a deal stream with him. and found five smooth stones. Then he went back to the camp and waited for Goliath. <laughs> I can't pick him up. Fight me. Don't have arms. <laughs> yep. Uh, and he murdered a pickle. Boxing, boxing gloves? Yeah. Okay. Very few boxers have died in the ring. This is child friendly. <laughs> also, it sort of implies to me that maybe this is more like a boxing match thing and he's coming to this with an actual weapon. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't seem Don't fair. bring a sling to a boxing match, you dick. Okay, is this going to embed in the guy's frontal lobe or I what? I don't know, let's see. I forget what it looks like. Is it going to go in slow motion? Blow his pickle brains out. I bet it just goes thunk. Called it. That's basically all that happened. There was a joke where they had uh, pizza. They like the pizza in the past joke. Do you know why? Because kids a, love pizza. That's a joke they make several times. I'm not going to lie. Here you go. 
Mmm, pizza. Oh, cheese in the crust. That's tremendous. It rubbed off. You love pizza. The silly songs with Larry. Not good for Terrible. this episode. Uh, it was the lip song. I'm not a fan of the lip song. <laughs> That's a song. This is one of the weaker oh ones. This is more serious than I thought. Larry, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, lip. Ah! There was a dong! There was a dong there! I didn't see it. Tell me about your childhood. Maybe I'm just having a Freudian moment. Say boo song's my favorite, if anyone's curious. I don't. Is that an animal? Yeah. One with the the horn, like antlers. Yeah, I think it is horns. Like an, it's almost like an antelope. Anyway, you'll see it when we get to it. I don't but, want to. Uh, anyway, after talking to Saul for a little bit, he actually fights Goliath. It's although the Bible it's, story. It's a boxing match in this one. Yeah. He uh, uses a sling without arms. So he cheats just like the Karate Kid. Yeah, throws a rock right into the forehead. And this is does, stupid. Just does a little bonk instead of uh, no. you know caving in his skull like it does in the actual story. And mm -hmm. they do not cut the pickle's head off, as you might imagine, since it's a children's program. Well, if God can help David do big things, even though he was little, then I sure don't need to dress up like a superhero to be special. Nope. Larry, you're special just the but way But he'll do you it are. again anyway, right? Uh, yeah, many fun. times. There are actually hey, Larry Boy specials that are like an hour course. long where he is okay. actually the superhero. <laughs> okay. I don't like this. One Larry the Cucumber out of five. Okay. I give it a... This one also gets a three, mostly just because I like Veggie Tales. I got, I got nostalgia for it as a kid. Three Larry the Cucumbers in Larry Boy outfits out of five. That's stupid. Okay, don't worry. The last one I think we're all going to hate. And today, the last thing we're going to be looking at is... Is he watching home movies and hanging out with his friend? Yeah. You know how listful teenagers are. <laughs> if you get cancer, I'm not watching videos of us nostalgically. Sorry. Don't see him. Oh. Well, I guess he must have checked out. Thank you. You're right. He probably died. Wow! <laughs> oh, is he is he dead? Where is he? Jason, I'm sorry. They got they booked David A. R. White for that? No, he'll come back. Is he a ghost? Yeah, he's gonna be a ghost. He's gonna be a ghost. He's gonna teach this guy he needs to come to the Lord. Does leukemia give you uh, metachlorians? Yeah, gives you force ghost powers. Right, okay. Pop right That's back fine. up. Oh, don't rub him. Oh, Darlene, don't rub him. She's just sweeping up the leukemia dust. <sighs> this is by far the crossing. This is by far the best that we've watched today. Easily okay. the best. The Crossing, as we said, distributed by uh, Cristiano Films. I don't think they actually made it. They just distributed it. This sounds like a Cristiano Brothers film. Is hey, this... by the way! Hey, uh, fuck you! <laughs> is this... Fuck oh, you! You know what? This is just distributed by them. They didn't actually make it. I don't care. Fuck you! They... Um, David A.R. White is starring uh, as guy with cancer. I just don't have it. I mean, I, I just don't have the courage that you have. I just feel like I know what my life is about. That's the cancer hair effect That's they went the cancer with? cancer hair effect. Just take some pubes and glue them to the top of his yeah. head. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and pretty early Specifically <laughs> leukemia. You see him with um, bald cap and pubes to the top of his head. Yeah, as you of course, do, yeah. Uh, for cancer patients. And his friend is there. His friends break into the hospital and then get found out. And then they still get into his room because they just go, we really want to see our friend. Your Implying friend. they never had to do any of that. So I don't know why they're showing them break in. Is it so we know they're sinners? Yeah, I think so. I didn't realize it was so late. Uh, I'm here to see my grandfather. He's dying. Yeah? Yeah. He just kind of went downhill after Grandma died. Are they here for drugs? What the fuck? Day. I don't think it's a sin to break into a hospital. I don't think that's written down. It doesn't say thou shalt not trespass. So... Continuing on, the friend dies, or David A.R. White dies, rather. David A.R. White dies, but not really. At the funeral, uh, the friend sees the ghost, and... 
takes it. I wouldn't even say he takes just, He just takes it. He doesn't even take it well. He, or imme- he immediately is like, okay, let's go on ghost adventures. So what's it to you? Oh, that's not a ghost at all. Hi, that's, Jason. That's, that's vampire Man. David A.R.Y. Uh, look what you did to my flower. He's a daywalker at best. <laughs> It's Don't a comedy. You have any respect for the dead? <laughs> what, what are you doing here? Well, it is my funeral. Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> sure, I guess. But a little shock. <laughs> I'm working down to that. <sighs> Give me a hug, you big lug. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how people act. So they do. And they end up in heaven through te- ghost teleportation powers. Yeah, heaven's uh, sin center, where they keep track of everyone's sins, yeah. runs on circa 90s office equipment. Correct. And computer systems. Yeah. So hopefully I don't know if Y2K affected heaven or not. I think it, I think maybe they... That's the only place that did affect... Get affected by Y2K was the heaven servers, where they okay. use the long tapes with the holes punched in them. Yep, every sin committed, we get it down. Nothing gets missed, overlooked, or lost. Heaven needs computers. Look, it's what we do. Make a record, get the evidence ready. Evidence? What evidence? Uh, listen, just out of curiosity. You wouldn't happen to have the, uh... The Jason Reynolds file? How did you... How did you know my name? We have everybody's name here. I'll get your printout. Don't go to too much trouble. Oh, they're very helpful. <laughs> Why does David A.R. White? He's been say? here for a long time. It seems like he's jaded by his hair guys. grew back. No, not stuff. He's had, he's had months. Big di- sure. For their servers, for their their memory cards. So yeah, and uh, they even had the printouts. Um, if you remember, if you're if you're about my age, maybe your age, um, especially for like public schools and stuff, they had the printers where they'd come out and go. Like a dot matrix. And then on the outside, they'd have the perforated. Paper the way it was fed through, and you had to rip off the sides and then rip. And it was never standard size, and uh, it was always in like Helvetica yep. or some other fucking font like that. You mean you have every sin down that I ever committed? Yep, every one. At least they're being upfront with the Orwellian nature of God. Masturbation, 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 masturbation. Lots of masturbation on nice here. Things. And that's where all your sins are kept in a very analog on paper method. Um, not just in like some cosmic awareness that all celestial beings understand, which would be the simplest way. So he moves on to the next space and uh, they go into a courtroom. Courtroom, this is apparently where the evidence against your sins and stuff are weighed. And if you're not a Christian, the judge will bang his little gavel and say, you've been sentenced to separation. I declare you guilty as charged <laughs> and sentence you to eternal separation. No, separation. I think he right. means suffering. Now, I thought Jesus was the judge that sat on the, the judgy throne. Apparently not. It's just some guy whose name is probably Herb. He did like look that. like a like a Jewish old man lawyer. Yeah. Uh, so, he sentenced that guy to separation, which I assume Separation. Means burning for all eternity. Of course it does. Uh, and then... Uh, <laughs> you can't burn right, right in, the, in heaven. Sure. As the friend discovers that his turn is up next, he runs away, yeah. immediately is teleported to the desert because it's cheap to film there. It's not like real desert, it's California yeah. Hill Desert. It's uh, it's by uh, probably that Bronson uh, cavern or cave or whatever that all those movies and stuff, and by the that rocks that Kirk fought on. Very, very, very... <laughs> the I'm rocks not, that Kirk fought. I you know, know what you're talking about. They're in our intro. It's a super fucking uh, cheap place to film, so tons of stuff does it. And it's near where, you know, this kind of stuff tends to be. So, uh, <laughs> and The same one where Captain Kirk hammer punched the lizard person. The Gorn. The Gorn. Uh, Gotta get those hammer punches in. Yeah. So, then what happens is uh, uh, he runs into Jesus being crucified. Uh, does he? That's cryptic. I don't know what this means. Lowercase t. What could it possibly mean? Low T cell count. <laughs> Twice dead. T. Time to wake the fuck up. It was almost like a or like one of those Mexican reenactments. He runs into someone being crucified. Yeah, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, oh, bad Jesus! With uh, looks like someone squirted ketchup on his back. Oh no, oh, ketchup. That's more than ketchup. That's some... they paid for the they paid for the fake blood. Okay. 
looks like Jesus a little bit if he was kind of a white guy, you know? <laughs> and the props weren't that great. So, yep. they crucify this guy. And, and then, then he starts weeping because he saw murder. Sure. And all of his sins that were printed out before, yeah. he, he goes to Jesus and they is like, I'm away. sorry. Yeah. And uh, Jesus bleeds on his sin, print out, and, and then... it goes away. It is finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just a knife. Yeah, like a steak knife. Yeah, it's a good zoom. See, it's empty because he deleted them. Yep. Right. Because it's an analog system, I guess. Yeah. And then uh, he goes back, and it's implied that his friend and him fucked. <laughs> Are you gonna make out? They're forgiven. Dude, if they don't make it out, I'm going to be pretty upset. Did David Ayer White's ever kissed a man? Do you see clearly? Like in a moment of weakness? Yes. I, I think it was this man. <laughs> hey, I don't blame him. Not a bad looking Honest guy. for me. For us. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Just kiss him on the neck a little bit. And also, there's sexual tension between David A.R. White and this guy the whole time. Especially at the end. They get real close, and David A.R. White keeps looking at the dude's lips. Which is fine, but I I was waiting for that release moment. That kind of release valve on the will they or won't they? The Jim Pam yeah. thing. And because it was only 30 minutes, I thought we'd get our payoff. But I don't think I don't think we we deserved it, I guess. I don't know. David A.R. White will not... Will not uh, he will not give us the uh, gay release we desire. They're so- He keeps looking at his lips! Look at it! And for that, he's giving me assurance. Just I'm suck on each other's ding-dongs! I can't take it! I suggest this. This this gets four Cancer David A.R. Whites out of five. Yeah, this gets four bald caps out of five out of me. That's the same thing, except you just gotta crop his face out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, right. the, I guess- I, that that's it. I, I so I, I guess the winner of of the first ever uh, Christian quickies has got is has got to be the crossing. Uh, oh, there's a it's called the crossing because there's a bridge. Yep, made of a cross. I forgot about that. His uh, his mom might fall into the. Don't worry about it. Go watch it. Don't, there's. I'm sorry. This was a DVD on its own. Yeah. It's not part of a pack. Nope. Half what an a hour. fucking rip off. Yep. There's not even, like, special features? No, nope. ChristianFilms.com will do that. Okay. Anyway. All right. And that's just a DVD. They don't come in Blu-ray. I wonder why. So that's it. Uh, again, here's our P.O. box if you want to send us anything for us to yeah. do. Uh, uh, thing. Uh, so, so these are retired. These are done. Um, they will be deleted from the cache. Uh, but every time uh, we are about to do this, we will reload. Yeah. And we will see. Ha! Ah, and we will see um, what's on there. Yeah, um, next time we'll have an actual wheel wheel, too. We will have a wheel! It will, and, and there will be a small sliver where there's physical challenge. Speaking of physical challenge, I wanted to do this uh, at the end of this episode. Okay. So I didn't know how this would go. So um, I got a package today, and it said open. It said open uh, immediately. It says urgent. Uh, open immediately. Okay. Um, and so I opened it a little bit, because it was just the nature of the, the way the tape is. Yeah. And I wanted to, I wanted to, to, to hand this to you, to see how, to see how this goes. To see how it goes. Why? Is this butterflies in a fucking little thing cuz I'm not opening that shit Is this a, did someone send us fucking butterflies? 5 live caterpillars. <laughs> no want. So this is how far the physical challenge got. Just the slip of paper that described it. Oh, those poor caterpillars. Fuck those caterpillars. They're probably still... They're probably dead. He said open immediately. I haven't checked this in two weeks. Mm. <laughs> so, don't send live things to us. They will die. You killed those caterpillars. <laughs> You're a murderer. There's no reason for you to do this. 
anyway, I thought it was hilarious. I knew you weren't going to open it. If I thought for a second that you had a chance to open butterflies, I would have stopped you. That's how you know we're actually friends. I don't want to deal with the fallout of butterflies. <laughs> In my fucking face. I don't want to see you cry. I don't want to see it. I'm not dealing with it. Okay. I'm just not doing it. Fair and I also, I don't know what happens to your heart if that happens. So, yeah. You were going to read that? Just holding the box was bad enough for you, I think. Not a fan. Yeah, so. All right. So, fuck you, whoever did that. Don't send more. They'll die. You can follow us on Twitter, at Papa Bird Jake. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you get Christian quickies with sounds. The more I say it, it sounds worse. Good. Yeah. And then uh, next episode, we'll have the, um, the, what, what's his, is it K? Rich K. Evans? I said M. Rich, we don't know? Richard M. Evans. Richard M. Evans <laughs> Memorial Spinny Wheel. Yeah, that'll be back. That'll be there. Yeah. So if you're watching, hi, Rich. This is totally not a ripoff. It, it, it's it, not even close. There's less Star Trek referenced. Not no Star Trek referenced. Well, that was less. the first. No, Captain Kirk. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, we have caution tape. At work. Caution got at work. Contact me, Willie Ames. This is a new hero. He does like the headband. I don't get uh... it. It's like a, it's like Rambo. Okay. And he just shoots people with faith. This is a, just like Catholic priests. I think Focus on the Family will give us three million dollars to produce this. Let's I go. I think so. We forgot to drink beer! Nah, uh, I'm not an alcoholic like Mike anymore, so. You deserve better, Rich. Come move in and be on our show instead. We won't be as mean to you. Not as mean. <laughs> Let me clarify. We'll, we'll take the editing jokes down 20%. Salary's gonna decrease for sure, though. Anyway. To free. Until next time. I'm Hugo. I just took a drink. Jake. Well, that's a bad time to do yeah, that. That's a bad time. All right. This has been yeah. Hugo and Jake. See you guys next time. Oh, God. I almost knocked over movie. You won. Got four kids, and you got four.